Hey guys, it's Jake here with eTrailer. Today we're gonna to talk about anti-rattle devices. Have you ever heard this annoying noise coming from your hitch? Well, we've got such a small accessory that can solve this big problem. Now, what is an anti-rattle device? An anti-rattle device is something that's designed to take away the shake and play from whatever accessory you have inside the hitch receiver. It's designed to take away the movement so that you don't hear that annoying rattling when going down the highway. The most important part of selecting an anti-rattle device is knowing what size hitch receiver you have. So make sure you measure the hitch receiver that you have before selecting an anti-rattle device. You'll thank us later. The four types of anti-rattle devices are going to be your pin style, which within pins you're going to have spring-loaded pins and a standard threaded pin. You're also going to have sleeve style and clamps. First up is going to be our threaded anti-rattle device. Now this is typically going to be your most common uh, because it can be used to replace any standard hitch pin to take away the vibration in any hitch accessory. The one catch with this particular style is that you're going to have to have a hollow shank to be able to insert the nut on the inside of it to thread the bolt on. Now if security is a big concern of yours, there are some of these available with a lock that you can put on the end. It is already gonna be more secure than a standard hitch pin because of the fact that you're gonna have to loosen it with a tool, but if you want that added security, you can pick up one of those. The other anti-rattle pin we're gonna talk about is this spring-loaded pin. This is going to do the same job as the threaded pin that we previously talked about because it's also going to be threaded but the nut itself on the inside of the shank is going to have a spring. So it's gonna hold that nut nice and tight up against the inside of your shank so that it's there each and every time you wanna thread it into place. These are gonna be more commonly equipped with locks so that you can lock them up so that you're safe when headed down the road. Third on our list is going to be the sleeve style. The way this is gonna work is it's going to slide over the shank of your accessory and then you're going to slide it into the receiver after you have your accessory into the receiver and this wedge up in the corner is going to take up the extra space on the inside of the receiver tube that is otherwise making the rattling noise. Um, the biggest difference between this and the pin style is you're still going to need a pin if you're using this device. The benefit of this device is that you can use it with any accessory that you have because it's going to work for hollow shanks and solid shanks. And finally we have our clamp style. The clamp style is what we showed you at the beginning of this video and all it's going to do is it's going to wrap around the receiver tube itself and pull the accessory down or up on the inside of the receiver tube to eliminate the rattling. Um, the nice part about these is that they're going to be a tool free installation so you're going to be able to adjust it and take it off wherever you're at. There are some options on our website that do require tools however we recommend picking up the one that doesn't require any. Now also, unlike the pins, your clamp-on style is not going to have a lock for security, but you can pick up a locking hitch pin to be able to lock that accessory into the hitch receiver. Now you wanna keep in mind that no anti-rattle device is going to eliminate all noises from happening behind your vehicle. There's going to still be some noises coming from your bike racks, moving around your cargo carrier the stuff on it moving around but we've got straps to take care of those problems another thing is that an anti-rattle device is not going to increase or decrease the amount of weight you can tow well guys all in all anti-rattle devices are designed to take away the annoyances and distractions to make your trips more enjoyable if you have any questions or comments leave them in the comments below and we'll see you next time